Hi folks, it's Max from uh, HighOnAndroid.com where we get high on Android every day and higher. Uh, anyway, today I'm going to kind of walk you through Paranoid Android uh, ROM hybrid settings uh, for those of you who are running this ROM. And let me go ahead and uh, show you around here. Um, this ROM is available for many different devices including the Galaxy Nexus I've got here and also uh, available for some other phones like uh, Nexus 4 and even the Galaxy S3 and the Note 2 uh, and also you may get these settings through a hybrid ROM such as uh, Pac-Man ROM or Jelly Bam ROM which includes the hybrid uh, settings if you go here uh, hybrid properties uh, which is called the Paranoid Android settings um, you'll be able to choose a bunch of stuff here uh, the main thing you can do with Paranoid Android ROMs is you can run in stock UI uh, that will put your screen into 320 DPI and 360p um, this is what it's at right now and let me go ahead and hit apply and actually that did reset it um, so that's that's just gonna be the stock uh, phone UI there now the beauty of Paranoid Android ROM is that um, you can even run it in phablet mode so let's go ahead and try these phablet mode and the beauty of Paranoid Android ROM is that you can actually do this on any rooted Android device. You can change the build prop uh, for the LC density, and you know you can do that. But you have to actually reboot your phone versus this one. Um, you don't have to reboot. So that's the phablet mode where it makes um, some of the stuff a little bit smaller, and also you can go with totally tablet UI. Uh, this is great actually um, for like a tablet like Nexus 7 it's normally in phone mode but you can run it in tablet mode um, so you'll be able to see the 1000p there that's the resolution and 192 for DPI there and uh, there's other options here um, 220 DPI 1000p this will make the fonts bigger when the DPI goes up it'll make the fonts bigger and also this is even bigger font here so let's go ahead and try the last one here and you'll see that the uh, font, the all the buttons are bigger, the fonts are a little bit bigger. Um, also, if you want to make the launcher smaller, you can also do that using the Paranoid Android settings, which I'll show you. Um, so that's the main uh, menus you can do. And also another cool, really cool part about Paranoid Android is Paranoid Android Colors. Go ahead and hit Apply. And what this will do is, depending on the app you uh, open, for example, the Google Play Store store has a bunch of those colors. So let me go ahead and go to Play Store, and you will see the colors change. Uh, it might actually not be working because I'm in tablet mode. Um, let me see if it's supposed to work. Now, if you did just switch the uh, mode of your phone to tablet UI, then go ahead and reboot. Even though it took effect uh, for Paranoid Android colors to take effect you will have to reboot your phone so I'll be back there we go um, let me go ahead and open the Play Store now you can see my nav bar and also that's actually status bar that changed the colors there um, so that might happen if you just uh, change from tablet UI to phone mode don't worry about it a reboot will fix that issue uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the more stuff you can do with paranoid Android settings uh, we've got the paranoid Android colors um, all that good stuff. The main cool thing about Paranoid Android settings is that you can actually um, change per DPI here. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what my Gmail looks like. Alright, so now it's in phone mode. Let me go ahead and show it to you uh, how I can change it. Go ahead and find Gmail. Click on it. And uh, if you want tablet mode, go ahead and set it to 600p and make this smaller this will you know make the DPI smaller but make your fonts uh, font smaller too alright let me go ahead and set it one, about 200 should be fine 210 the default is 320 and go ahead and hit the launch button and you'll see that in it's in tablet mode and you can adjust with the vo values of this uh, paranoid Android settings and uh, tweak it just perfect so maybe the font is a little bit too small I think so I'm gonna go, go ahead and raise the size there 
that will raise the DPI and also make the fonts a little bit bigger right so that's kinda nice let me show you another example a uh, Netflix is a very good one um, let me show you the regular Netflix mode here and this is great actually very very useful for some apps um, that's showing a lot of titles you know so this is the default Netflix I mean it works it works pretty well but um you know the number of titles I can see I have to scroll down I mean it's just a mess why didn't they give an op give us an option to actually be able to see it uh, in tablet mode so you can go ahead and use uh, go back to paranoid Android settings here and set it to 720p I'm gonna go ahead and make the size all the way small like this and I'm gonna go ahead and launch it and now you'll see be able to see all of the titles uh, which is really nice and this is pretty much the beauty of a paranoid Android that you can instantly turn any apps into tablet phone mode or you know maybe resize it just the way you want to maybe this is too big let me show you an expert uh, tweaking way of using paranoid Android settings uh, make it a little bit bigger with certain apps uh, even if you change the DPI it might not change so for this I actually had to enable go to tools and enable expert mode right and go ahead and go back to uh, hybrid properties and let's go back to apps here and you'll have an additional menu here uh, Netflix here if you go all the way to the right uh, you'll be able to actually make it a little bit bigger uh, than whatever it's it set there so this should kinda give us uh, someone between phone and tablet mode um, and I should have a perfect there you go so just the way I want it, uh, slightly smaller so I can see the titles better while it's not so small that uh, I can't, you know, it makes it hard for me to browse the phone. Um, so that's nice. Another cool feature is that let's say you don't want the bar, or you want more space, then go ahead and put the expand on. This is really neat. And if you launch it, now you'll have a full screen for your app. So you can do this for any app. Um, you need that extra space, you know, at the bottom, then you can do this. But how do you navigate? Uh, well, you know, it, this ROM does come with Pi, so if you if you uh, swipe from the bottom here, you'll be able to access all of your soft keys this way. Um, so this is a great way to, um, you know, make use of your apps. All right, and I can do the same thing for Gmail. Let's say I want to be able to expand it. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'll be able to see the full uh, Gmail without the soft keys and I have Pi here to save space so that's another great way uh, you can use paranoid Android ROM to customize it and also you can actually customize well there's certain settings if you go to toolbars in settings you'll be able to find the Pi controls uh, in the toolbar menu here as you can see and you can set the gravity uh, bottom right top or left uh, and also pie style um, you can have it show up quicker if you want and also uh, item gap you can adjust it um, and also you can get the LMT pie launcher or also pie control app on the Play Store uh, if you want to set additional sh uh, shortcuts uh, that's another way to do it and uh, other than that that pretty much sums up some of the stuff you can do Oh, and also you can change the the colors of uh, the Pi colors. So let's say you're going to the Play Store here, and you'll see that it's uh, changed to those colors. Now, if you want uh, your own colors, you can go to the actual app here, and also uh, go to the colors here, and uh, change the colors. Let's say I want the navigation color to be uh, red. Go ahead and set it here and also uh, status icon color let me change it to yellow here and uh, that should do it hit apply and launch and boom you've got new colors uh, and you know what that's yeah that pretty much wraps up everything here um, so you can use paranoid Android settings to get uh, run your phone and tablet phablet you know all that good stuff and you know it can be very useful if you have like a, a somewhat in between uh, tablets such as the Nexus 7 which is 
really kind of in between a phone and a tablet or maybe the Galaxy Note 2 uh, or any of the bigger phones you might want to actually run it in tablet mode and this you know this ROM uh, does give you those settings so check it out for your uh, your favorite Android device uh, Paranoid Android is available for many and also you can install Jelly Bam uh, if it's not available or Pac-Man ROM uh, which are which also have Paranoid Android as part of um, the ROM and uh, do let me know and uh, yeah if you like this video uh, don't forget to hit that like button here subscribe button down there and I'll see you guys soon uh, stay high on Android yeah